Hi, so, um, hello. <laughs> I have the front here, the skeleton. I've still got some triangulation supports to put in, um, but I've got this part done, this part done. But what we're going to do is going to flip it over. But before we do that, what I want to do is to show you the line which is following correctly the belt diagram the thing so this is where the floor the floor is going to go here out here and you can see that this and the one opposite uh, so tricky than this yeah you can see this line here is dropped and it goes up there and then drops again so the floor the floor will be curved and it's easier if you turn it the right way up so this is a, it's, it's actually getting sort of heavy but not really um, it's maybe about three kilos so far, which you know, I mean, it's peanuts. So, now, one of the things you notice is that this part is dipping down, and that is deliberate. This is the um, splitter scoop uh, with the wheel. The wheel arch is here. So, um, I've still got to put these parts in that come down to the ground here, and that will, uh, there will, will emphasize there's a couple of triangular pieces that come out here and then join onto there. Um, that's it. Basically, it's starting to come together. And let me back up a little bit so you can see the scale. All right. Okay. Um, but previously, what I mentioned was that I, when you put pressure on I can't even get my yeah, hands the right when you put pressure on this edge because there is triangular bracing missing in that back portion there and in where is it God this is so tricky and in this uh, trapezium here there's one in the other ones alternative alternate ones that you can see the one there and one here so there's triangular brace missing triangular brace missing and what that results in is when you push on this edge it pulls that trapezium it slides that trapezium thing and pulls that other edge up what's actually happened is that now that this rear box the main box which contains the wishbone suspension the steering and the diesel generator and the charger above the steering column and wishbone suspension now that this box is triangled up the um the flexing of these two parts of the bonnet is now less and so the trapezoiding is less but this will definitely become less of a problem goodness me less of a problem when this is in because this will be to this part this box part here will be triangled up this will be attached to it via triangles this part coming up from here down to the floor triangle 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 and that will support this corner here 
and likewise on the other side I'll support the thing and um, that gives the God this is really so awkward I'm terribly sorry um, you get the wheel arch line here this one this one up to here and then the other one down to the triangle point which comes out from those these two pieces to here right you see and that way you get the the uh, the wheel arch part part onto on, on the wheel arch part um, and then the wheel here with the wishbone suspension in on there and the same on the other side so I'm what I'm hoping is is that even on even on this part here that it's braced up enough to stop this this from wobbling about um, but to be honest to be absolutely honest it's the main box that I'm concerned about for structure, right? Because that's holding everything. It's got it's got the wishbone suspension hanging off of it, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is putting a couple of uh, fifty by one hundred, fifty by one hundred um, steel runners along here. So we'll not be hanging the wishbone suspension off of the actual frame will be hanging it off the ladder which is going down the thing to the back so there's basically like the uh, Citroen 2ZV there will be a ladder frame that everything hangs off of so anyway let me just <laughs> flip, it, flip it back upside down so I can carry it on and, um, This, aside from it being upside down, you should actually recognise if you do a side-on view of the. Um, whoops! Anyway, you, if you do a side-on view of the CAD drawing, you should recognise this line coming down, then straight, and then going down again for the for the floor. <laughs> I am so sorry. This is really tricky to do well um, in uh, a a small space, but also. Um, uh, uh, with a low resolution camera that's on a tablet. <laughs> Sorry, thank you so much for your patience.